who they're going to be. And right now, we got Gluto on the stage, number one from Europe. Here, repping France. France came Absolutely. through strong. Ah, yay, viva la France. Gluto coming to hold it down for his countrymen. I'm sure we're going to see them uh, get in the action in the background in just a little bit in the player cam there. Uh, out here against Frog. And uh, in up and coming Bayonetta, uh, I've seen Frog uh, post some pretty good results. I remember just a while back uh, beating one of the NorCal PR players uh, in Klaatu. So, Frog, definitely not to be slept on. Uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what region Frog is from. Yeah, I. I saw Frog competing at Level Up Expo and got pretty far. Yeah, Frog definitely been uh, been taking names. I'm not too sure you've been. I'm, I'm scared to hazard a guess. But uh, right now, uh, putting on a solid show. Probably West Coast, though. Probably somewhere West Coast, though. Yeah, West probably Coast the, Bay. West, West, West Coast of the country. Bay. You see it in the style. It's kind of his, <laughs> his difference. Look, ooh, look, that's a smooth little wave land. That's a West Coast wave land right there. And against Gluto, this is going to be really tough. Uh, again, one of the best players in France, in the world, honestly, right? And Gluto has been doing it big ever since the beginning of Ultimate. Oh, and gets the air dodge read, but Warrior's a fat man. It's not going to be enough. <laughs> yeah, waits it out. Good patient, but uh, not quite going to be enough. Both these characters very, very explosive, capable of, uh, of changing the pace of a match with just one or two interactions. But at the same time, uh, can tend to play a kind of slower, you know, single aerial hit and run kind of game. Uh, yeah. So interested to see how these two styles match up. Gluto, though, able to find the straight hit and close out uh, that first stock. Sitting at 119. Here's a frog has he confirmed right here. Maybe an up tilt back air uh, is still in range, but gonna want to get it quickly before Gluto starts to run away. Yeah, or go for moves like down air here. Gluto just getting all, a lot of this damage. Probably won't see the walk. And oh, okay. tries to get the air dodge read, but not in the right direction here. Actually, Gluto is going to have half walk available here. So this is prime percent here. Yep, the up tilt, the back air. There and it, it was uh, who's going to get the who's going to get up tilt first, right? Gluto <laughs> gets the up tilt, could go into the walk. I'm not too sure how the interaction is with Bats Within for Walk confirms. That could be something Ooh. that we have to look out for. And, you know, shout out to Frog just rep representing a character that we don't really see too often. Bayonetta was an incredible force in the previous iteration of Smash, but we really don't see Bayonetta all too often in Ultimate. Yeah, not too many representatives left. We have uh, Lima, of course, uh, still doing big work. Former Evo champion obviously has the skill to make just about any character work. I think Bayo's been kind of on the come up since uh, people were pretty down on her uh, on the release of the game. We have seen she still has what it takes wow. to get it done, but right now, Gluto getting it done. Bike uh, at the ledge going to take that second stock, sitting on 54, and that Wario is flashing, which is not what you want to see with your frog. No way. Wow, that almost got the K. I love the fastball on the Nair as well, and then just snapping right into the back here. Maybe if it was the sweet spot, I'm not too sure. Not uh, like super familiar with all these Bayo confirms, but again, just a character that you don't see too often. But Frog really knowing the confirms here and going for offstage Nair like that into the back air was so crisp. Yeah, wow, looking really smooth. Very comfortable. Bayonetta's tend to be one of the player bases too, that if you're playing this character, you have taken your time to learn and master it. A character that really rewards your time spent in the lab. Right now though, we have the up to landing up air. Gluto not pulling the trigger just yet. Yeah, and that's the thing, Wario, the back air is gonna do the trick. Wario loves to stay in the air, and guess what move that Bayo has that commands the air? No matter what, even in the beginning of Ultimate, I didn't know exactly how strong Bayo was, but all I know is Afterburner Kick is a very good move. <laughs> like, look at that move. It commands so much. It's like a burst option that goes vertically up into the air yeah. with, at, at that great angle, right? And you combo off of it. So just a move that it like very reminiscent of something like the old school Fox Illusion where it crosses up shield and stuff like that as well. Goes for the raw wop, not going to complete it, but we are charging up the next one. And Frog, this is looking really competitive here for game one. Yeah, Gluto got a, a little over aggressive, just tried to force the issue, which is pretty rare uh, for him. Perhaps he saw an opening, we didn't, but Frog is uh, not going to let him get away with it for free. Uh, 87 to 97, we have a close matchup right here. And as we saw last time, Frog does have the uphill conversions. Bayo has ways to close this out, but might have to get a little creative against an evasive opponent like Gluto. And I wonder if up tilt back air will do the trick, especially right by the edge. We have some rage and bail. When you sweet spot the back air, it is pretty powerful here. The parry. Oh, and there's the bats within. Coming in clutch that time for Frog. Pluto trying to go to this platform. Frog oh works my his goodness, way back you down. Put it on the up smash. Ah. Oh, man. And right there, that situation happens so often where your last stock last with the with the top player and you pull the trigger first. Like you try to go for the hard read and the top player just had that little bit more patience and was rewarded there. Frog was playing so damn good. I was rooting for him. You know, of course, everyone wants to see the upset, right? Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen Frog playing and improving and just doing things with Bayonetta, right? So you really want to do see Frog succeed here. 
But yeah, man, just not having that patience. Was playing so well before that, though, right? Oh, Obviously, yeah. like on after the the miss waft, especially you could right, see Frog right. saw saw the opportunity, smelled yeah, the blood, yeah. the water, and locked in. Uh, Kudo, yeah, just having that little bit more patience. Like you said, when you are so so close to getting that game one, to getting that set. Uh, off a top player, off what you know is going to be a massive upset, you're almost having to hold back. You're not making decisions anymore. You're deciding not to pull the trigger for as long as you can. But that hand just starts itching, and we're all going to pay the price of that game one. OK, we got the Bayo one skin. Let's go. Okay, a little mentality change right here. Grow the hair out. New yeah, life after the breakup. The, and, and the one thing as well that's just so tough is one thing that uh, Frog was conditioning Gluto is just maybe playing a little bit more grounded because Gluto's playing around the afterburner kick. But when you throw an up smash like that, you're almost trying to call out a jump, right? Or, or maybe maybe trying to call out like a grounded approach with no shield. Yeah, I guess like a nair in or maybe like some kind of some kind of dash in. Yeah. Tilt. An aggressive read regardless, I think, of what of what you're looking for. And this bike, we saw it. There, there's a lot of control. We saw actually uh, losing a stock because of the bike, right? When you're able to throw it over and catch characters' ledge hangs. So, and the bike being on the screen is a big deal because Wario does not have access to use that move, right? And Wario without the bike is honestly a really bad recovery. Great DI in from Gluta, and we are starting to see the matchup adjustments. Oh, yeah, and this is where it gets difficult, right? Yeah, bike on deck, like you were saying, and Frog taking full advantage. Uh, Bayonetta, one of the characters best equipped to exploit that bike with Wario as well. Man, and I, I like so Gluto won game one, but honestly, it like it's it has felt like Frog has had the advantage in Frog, terms yeah. of just like uh, how the flow of the game has been working. Gluto obviously really clutching it out, and you know obviously if you didn't miss that walk, you're not dead off the top. Okay, okay, not great quite, DI coming up from uh, coming out from Gluto. But uh, yeah, no, uh, Gluto does kind of seem like he's been playing on the back foot, right? We saw uh, that miss walk, that miss walk, a little uncharacteristic. We saw he's. I think he's had to make a lot of adaptations, right? This isn't a matchup he probably has to deal with a lot, and it yeah. can be kind of scary. Usually he spends a lot of time empty hopping around, controlling that space in the air, but the threat of ABK, I think, might be kind of putting him off rhythm. Well, I mean, we, even when you think about it, Wario's mobility is based in the air, right? Yeah. So when you force Wario grounded, that's when he loses a lot of his mobility, and it can be hard for Wario to even try to chase down some of these ABKs, especially when Frog is weaving some of these wave lands onto the platforms after the ABK, or just like directional air dodging the other direction. And it looks like the WAP is online here. We'll see if Gluto can find an opening. He wasn't able to find that WAP opening game one, but still was able to take it, right? Yeah, able to uh, to get that, get down there and clutch it out, right? He's not just a WAP. Gluto is a Wario master <laughs> and knows how to get it done in more ways than one. But Frog gonna look to get it done right here. Nair not able to trade with the up B. Gluto does get back to stage, but gonna eat a couple of kicks uh, for his troubles. And There's the, the bat. I tried to call it out early. I tried to warn you, Gluto. Leo says, don't touch me with that. Just took a shower. And you know what? It, it might have been as well as the Rage, right? I think c a combination of the Rage, a combination. Oh, the ABK hey, and Gluto no not going to be ready for the tech. They were able to threaten you from so far away from so many different angles. Always have to be uh, on your toes against her toes. And Gluto uh, missing the mark that time. And suddenly, yeah, only at 74, no waft on deck. This is a, a rough position for Gluto to try to fight his way back from. And I, I really want to see Frog kind of tighten the ship up here. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like Frog was in this position. I mean, not last game was last stock, last hit, but right now Frog has an incredible lead. And if there's one thing Bayo's really good at, even with SDI, Bayo can still rack up a ton of damage, especially on these like heavier characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. These, these combos don't kill anymore, but you're still getting hit with five different moves, right? It, yes. <laughs> It adds up. And they don't stop working either, which is a, some of the beautiful consistency with this character. But speaking of consistency, do not count out Gluto. There's a reason he's been number one in Europe, undisputed for such a long time, that he's one of the few people truly uh, to potentially threaten MK Leo for dominance at number one. But Frog uh, trying to make a name for himself uh, as well by being the first to exploit it. Wow, grabbing the bats. That, you got to be quick on that. Wow, no. That was really bad DI on that downer APK. The down air sends Gluto hitbox. to the right. Oh my goodness, that could have been it. We got another opening here, but Gluto starting to get into that percentage range where you know, ABK maybe not going to get a guaranteed follow-up every time. Yeah, and this is where it, it starts getting scary, scary. We saw the end of that last game uh, for Frog, pulling the trigger perhaps a little bit early, getting a little antsy to try and get that win. And this is where Gluto makes his money. These last hit clutch situations, the waft. We've seen it time and time again. And Gluto shaking it out, shaking it out, wow. reminding everyone why he is the undisputed Wario Master, number one in Europe, and the French go wild. Yeah, you can just hear all the Frenchmen chanting, <laughs> roaring in the crowd. You got the flag as well. Gluto with the half waft off of the up tilt. That time, no bats.
Nothing there to save Frog from that confirm. And my goodness, Gluto was able to really hold it down on that last stock and not take anything. The ledge trapping was immaculate, was able to catch the back-to-back -back rolls coming out from Frog. And, I mean, again, I feel like when you... When you have some of these threats like Fox Illusion or Bayonetta ABK, right, and your opponent is kind of ledge trapping towards roll area, you don't have to give them that ledge roll. You don't have yeah. to give them the ABK. Sometimes you can just go for the